So what brings you overwhelming joy? Okay. Good thing is uh, uh, nagbigay na maganda mensahe yung Panginoon para sa atin at pa-share din natin sa family natin po. You are being uh, prompted by the leading of the Holy Spirit to share the gospel of salvation. Ayan po, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Uh, welcome po sa online service ng Church on the Hill Christian Community. So as we start praising our God, uh, may you join me and the worship team as we open this day with a prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Panginoon, for giving us again another week. Another week filled with blessings, filled with your uh, uh, providence, Panginoon. Thank you for giving us the strength that we need the wisdom we need for the whole week, Heavenly Father. Lord, as we sing these songs of praises, Panginoon, we acknowledge you, Panginoon, for your goodness, Heavenly Father. Lord, thank you for being our light in times of our darkest times, Panginoon. Thank you for being our strength, Panginoon, in times of our weaknesses, Heavenly Father. Lord, these songs is for you and only for you, Heavenly Father. Lord, you are the reason, Panginoon, kung ba't kami umaawit ngayong umagang ito, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon, naway tanggapin niyo po ang awit na papuring iaalay namin sa inyo. Just let me pray.
may sa dakila nating Diyos Walang papantay sa iyong pagmamahal Ikaw ang kailangan Pag-ibig mo naririto Walang katulad Pagmamahal mong kailalim Walang katulad ang pag-ibig mo Pag-ibig mo naririto Walang katulad ang pagmamahal Pagmamahal mong kailalim Walang katulad Itinataas mga kamay Sa dakilat na ating Diyos Walang papantay sa iyong pagmamahal oh, Itinataas ang kamay sa dakilan naming Diyos Walang papantay Yung pagmamahal Ikaw ang kailangan Pag-ibig mo Naririto Walang katulad Pagmamahal Kailalim Walang Katulad Ang pag-ibig mo Panginoon Pag-ibig mo Naririto Walang Katulad Pagmamahal Mo Kailalim Walang Katulad Yes, Heavenly Father, Panginoon Tunay nga po, Panginoon, na ikaw'y walang katulad, Heavenly Father Walang katulad ang iyong pagmamahal sa inyong mga anak, Panginoon Lord, maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa lahat ng kabutihang ginawa niya sa aming mga buhay. Truly, Heavenly Father, that you are worthy of our songs today, today, Panginoon. You are worthy of our praises, Heavenly Father. Maraming maraming salamat. It was my cross you bore So I could live In the freedom you died for And now my life is yours And I will sing Of your goodness forevermore What is your name? Jesus, you deserve the praise. What is your name? What is your name? Jesus, you deserve the praise. What 
what is your name? And now my shame is gone. I stand amazed in your love and I Your grace goes on and on, and I will sing. Of your goodness forevermore What is your name, Jesus? You deserve a praise What is your name? What is your name, Jesus? You deserve our praise what is your name worthy? What is your name, Jesus? You deserve our praise. What is your name? What is your name, Jesus? You deserve our praise. What is your name You are worthy Be exalted now in the heavens As your glory fills this place You alone deserve our praise you're the name above all names Be exalted now in the heavens As your glory fills this place You alone deserve our praise You're the name above all names Be exalted now in the heavens As your glory fills this place You alone deserve our praise you're the name above all names Be exalted now in the heavens As your glory fills this place You alone deserve our praise You're the name above all names What is your name, Jesus? Deserve praise. What is your name? What is your name, Jesus? You deserve our praise. What is your name? We sing worthy. What is your name, Jesus? You deserve praise what is your name what is your name Jesus you deserve praise what is your name for the last time what is your name Jesus you deserve Praise, what is your name? What is your name, Jesus? You deserve praise. What is your name? Yes, Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for giving us this time of worship, Heavenly Father. This time. Panginoon, we can utter our praises, Panginoon. Lord, thank you for your goodness in our lives. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, for letting your Holy Spirit fill our lives, Heavenly Father. Lord, naway tanggapin niyo po, Panginoon, ang aming mga awit na papuri, Heavenly Father. Lord, as we listen to your word, may your anointing be upon us, Heavenly Father. Naway maabsorb po namin lahat ng matututunan namin, Lord, and naway may apply namin to Panginoon sa aming buhay, Kristiyano. 
Maraming maraming salamat Lord God sa kalayaang papurihan ka. Maraming maraming salamat Lord God sa araw na ito. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Good morning. Uh, at uh, wini-welcome po muli namin kayo sa uh, Sunday Worship ng CHCC. So, gusto po man po namin mag-live. Uh, humihingi po kami ng paumanhin kasi medyo po unstable ang uh, ang kuryente dito sa Baguio. And, and medyo natatakot kami na baka mawalan ulit ng kuryente bahabang tayo nagla-live. So, we decided to have this uh, recorded po muna tayo ngayong Sunday. Uh, considering po yung inclement weather. So, uh, ako muli si Ate She and, and I'm going to share God's Word uh, this morning. Pero siguro bago tayo mag-start, uh, gaya ng nakasanayan na natin, manalangin muna tayo sa Panginoon. Hallelujah, Father God. We praise you. We honor you this morning, O God. We know that uh, you... Um, You have gathered us again, and you are here with us um, as we worship you, as we learn from your word, as we listen to your word, Lord. Help us uh, to understand uh, what you want us to learn today, uh, this morning. Help us uh, by opening our hearts and our minds that we may be able to um, understand uh, kung ano po yung gusto naming mat- gusto nyo matutunan namin. Thank you, Lord, because you um, you're always here with us. And thank you, Lord, din sa pagsama mo sa amin sa past weeks. And sana po, Lord, ay patuloy nyo kaming samahan sa aming pag-aaral ng salita mo and sa aming uh, uh, patuloy sa aming uh, worship. Lord, we pray na sana lahat ng uh, makakarinig or makakapanood ng uh, worship Uh, Sunday or ng uh, worship service ay uh, mag-bless at uh, ma-encourage sa mga words o sa salita mo na mapag-aaralan namin today. Lord, bless your servant. O oh God, na siyang mag-share ng word mo na wa Lord uh, uh, ang mga words na gagamitin ko ngayon. I-bless mo upang uh, maging encouragement at maging inspiration sa mga makikinig. Lord, uh, nawabigyan mo ako ng wisdom and understanding, O Lord, upang may share ko ng maayos ang, ang, uh, ang lesson namin this morning. Bless mo rin lahat ng nakikinig. Sana magkaroon sila ng open hearts and open minds uh, para ma- maintindihan din nila yung word mo at naway maging blessing sa kanilang buhay ang matututunan namin ngayon. All this super in Jesus' name. Amen. So, this morning, uh, para po sa month of July, ang gusto po kasi ni Pastor na pag-usapan nga natin is about families. And one of the things na I believe affecting our families right now is uh, anxiety. No, Anxiety uh, is, is uh, one of the problems that the uh, or Well, anxiety is one of the emotions or the feelings na pinagdadaanan ng bawat pamilya. So this morning, I'd like to talk about it, um, how we will address uh, anxiety. Um, so that will be our, our topic this morning. So as we know, uh, habang tayo uh, dito sa pinagdadaanan nating pandemic, actually COVID-19 has been, uh, has caused a lot of anxiety uh, to to everybody around the world no um hindi lang naman po dito sa Pilipinas at hindi lang naman po tayong Pilipino kundi po sa buong buong mundo um uh, na encounter natin uh, itong anxiety so i'd like to read some um <clears throat> caricature or mga um i mean uh, who Uh, or the World Health Organization is also acknowledging this, uh, in-acknowledge din naman nila na nagkakaroon talaga ng anxiety, not only anxiety but mental health issues because of COVID-19 and so they've actually um, 
shared some cartoons or ano, I, I, I will show you. So, dito nga sa mga cartoons na ito, no, sabi niya, the so first na picture, sabi niya, sabi ng girl, I'm worried, sabi niya. And, and, who says, it is normal to feel fearful and anxious during this time. Sabi niya, talking about your feelings, will lessen your distress. So, in-acknowledge naman po talaga ng um, who na, yes, we are fearful and anxious during this time. And, and so, ang sinasabi sa atin is, you talk about it, no? Talk to other people about your feelings because um, it would lessen, it would lessen uh, your distress. So, para po, uh, mayabawasan yung distress natin, sinas- sinasabi po sa atin ng who na, pag-usapan ninyo, talk to people about how you feel or how worried you are. Uh, hindi naman po, sinasabi na, um, um, na, kumbaga para in-encourage po tayo ng who na pag-usapan, talk to other people about your worries uh, during this pandemic time or pandemic period. There also, uh, at the middle, no, sabi niya dito, uh, how are you? And it's a scenario that quarantine can also lead to loneliness, uh, especially for older people or people who live alone. So loneliness can contribute to poor physical and mental well-being. Connect with other people through social media, uh, telephone, and online communities, and maintain mental health. So, totoo, di ba? When, when we started having lockdowns and we, and we were being quarantined, uh, especially siguro yung mga estudyante na naging online na lang yung classes, ano, you don't get to talk or uh, or have interaction with your, your classmates na physically or face-to-face. Ano. Kahit naman din tayo, di ba? When we started uh, lockdowns and quarantine, uh, naging mahirap sa atin din na we, we, we cannot connect to uh, to our uh, mga kasama natin sa church. It really made as lonely or it it it, it cost us to to uh, to become lonely you know and and so na apektuhan na rin some some of the students become depressed and some of the students uh or or the people na hindi na makalabas lalo na po yung mga senior citizens ano na nasanay po sila na may mga interaction with people and suddenly hindi pa stop so they become lonely and then they become depressed um, and they become anxious then ano kung kung uh, kailan ba to matatapos ano and, and they start worrying and of course um uh, very 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 big impact also uh on the mental health of our uh, frontliners sa ating mga dakilang frontliners and sabi niya dito working on the front lines of the covid-19 outbreak can be stressful and difficult so it is normal to feel overwhelmed and frustrated talking about your feelings with somebody you trust will help so apaka hirap po talaga uh, ng mga pinagdadaanan ng mga frontliners natin ano and um for people um in the front line it becomes exhaustive so napapagod na sila and it, they become frustrated na rin sometimes if they still see people na hindi pa rin sumusunod sa protocols ayaw pa rin um ayaw pa rin mag uh, magpa uh, mag, maggumamit ng mga mask and shield ayaw pa rin magpabakuna so our frontliners are actually getting frustrated with how the things are going no so sila po yung pagod na pagod um being a, a covid survivor myself alam ko po yung hirap na pinagdaanan ng mga frontliners yung mga nag-aalaga talaga uh, they are overworked um they're really uh, putting their lives on the line no there there's a very big possibility kasi that they themselves would get sick and of course yung uh they they also endanger yung families nila the families that they go home to so covid or pandemic has really um given us anxiety ano uh, worldwide 
So, ito po siya na yung gusto nating pag-usapan. That, that doesn't only affect the whole world. Hindi naman natin masasolve po yung anxiety in the whole world. But we can actually address it in our own families. You know, in the families uh, that we belong to. So, uh, ang ating uh, verses na babasahin na pala, this is a famous uh, story in the Bible. It's uh, found in Luke 10, 38 to 42. So, uh, dito sa, sa ating uh, uh, verses na babasahin, uh, this is a story of two sisters. Actually, they are famous sisters, uh, Martha and Mary. Uh, kaya sabi ko, the tale of two sisters. So, we start in verse 38. Sabi niya dito, Now, as they were traveling along, he entered a village. This is Jesus. And a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. And she had a sister called Mary, who was also seated at the Lord's feet and was listening to his word. But Martha was distracted with all her preparations. And she came up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do the serving by myself? Then tell her to help me. But the Lord answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things, but only one thing is necessary. For Mary has chosen the good part, which shall not be taken away from her. So, makita natin dito na the story of two sisters who were having visitors in in their homes. Ano, and uh, actually, one was very, very anxious and one was okay lang. Uh, she was not worried at all. She was actually in the, uh, with the guests. So, sometimes, why, bakit nga ba nagiging anxious tayo when, when we open our homes to to visitors? When we open our homes and when we, or when we have visitors, bakit nga ba tayo nagiging anxious? Ano? Um, maybe may mga hindi nakaka-relate. Maybe hindi naman po sila nagiging anxious if they have visitors. No? But there, uh, most of us, uh, if a... a would would feel anxious to open our homes or to if we have visitors because one you're always thinking ah uh, is my house clean enough malinis ko ba talaga yung aming aming bathroom malinis kayo yung tiles because the the people would go there at uh, your bathroom of course kailangan malinis and malinis din yung bahay mo and of course you have to feed them eh so would they like the food that I will prepare? Magugustuhan kaya nila yung pagkain? Or baka hindi ito yung, ito yung mga food na nakasanayan nila? Diba? So you're worried about that. Uh, there are also people kasi right, right now, there are people who have uh, ano eh, uh, kumbaga preferences in food. And sometimes you cannot cater to all of their preferences. So, Magkukustahan kaya nila prepare ko. Baka vegetarian, <laughs> ganyan, or uh, vegan. Um, and also, we're thinking, kasha kaya yung food? Ngayon, napakalaking ano, lagi yun. Ano, kasha kaya? Uh, imagine, Mary and Martha had visitors. Hindi lang naman po si Jesus, ano, yung visitors nila. Jesus and the disciples, and of course, maybe some followers then na sumunod sa kanila. And, and so I'm thinking, mm, nag-worry din siguro sila. Magkakasya kayo yung pagkain, no? Magkakasya kayo yung pagkain. So, those are the things that uh, sometimes we, we worry about uh, when we have visitors. So, uh, yun po yung isipin na siguro uh, Martha and Mary, uh, we're very anxious or because uh, of the uh, no, you know things na because of having a lot of people in their in their house or in their home okay so balikan po muna natin sino ba si Martha at si Mary okay so Martha and Mary in other verses and in succeeding verses we'll we'll find out we'll find out that Martha and Mary and sila yung sisters ni Lazarus 
sister sila ni Lazarus, who is a good friend of Jesus. So, more likely, they're also good friends with Jesus. So, malapit din sila mga kaibigan ni Jesus. As we can see, no, dun sa, ano, uh, sa verse 38, sabi nga niya dito is, they were traveling along. So, they were just traveling and then they entered the village and there, ano, a, a woman named Martha welcomed them. So, probably to their to her home. Kumbaga po, parang uh, napadaan sila. So, hindi sa aking, sa aking uh, pagkakaintindi, parang hindi naman po sila plan na pupunta doon. Kumbaga, parang uh, napagdaan sila and uh, nakita siguro sila ni Martha and in-invite na sila sa house. Okay, so this, uh, to me, this shows hospitality. Ano? They're very hospitable uh, family. And uh, uh, if, if you see here, sabi nga, um, and uh, according to Bible scholars, Martha is the eldest. She's actually the eldest. And she's also the owner of the house. So sabi nga dito, eh, welcomed him into her home. And, uh, and Mary uh, is, is the youngest among them. Okay, so both sisters... Uh, Martha is the eldest and Mary is the youngest. And we all know, siguro, uh, what makes uh, Martha more anxious is because, one, she's she's the owner of the house. And she's, uh, kumbaga, parang mas, uh, uh, siya talaga yung aligaga kasi siya may ari ng bahay. At the same time, she's also the eldest of the two sisters. And so, there's a sense of responsibility kasi if, if, if you're, if you're, uh, the eldest or the old elder of the two. Okay, so we also have to understand uh, how Martha was feeling, why, why Martha was feeling anxious uh, more than Mary. Okay, so how did Martha address her anxiety? Makikita natin dito sa verse 10, sabi niya, Martha was distracted with all her preparations. So she concerned herself with many things. And she concerned herself with many things. So, Martha was uh, busy preparing. She was distracted with all the preparations. In fact, if I remember, nung punta nga po kami ng Israel, a meal, a Jewish meal, comprises of one, there's what's what they call, what they call the lentil soup, o para siyang munggo, soup na legumes. So yon isa yon sa sa part ng meal nila. Second is also have bread or what they call unleavened bread or yung pita bread that they they themselves bake in the oven. So in niluluto nila yon for the meal. They also have hummus or yung uh nilalagay nila yon sa bread eh. Uh, para siyang palaman or butter something but ilalagay nila yun sa bread and they also have either lamb yeah so lamb or probably beef for their guests so may meron din silang meat and aside from that they also have wine very important sa meal po ng mga Jewish Jews ang wine and then they also have cheese probably and uh, and dried fruits so everything siguro uh, she, she was pre busy preparing all of these things. So she was concerned with a lot of, of things, you know. And, and sometimes in, the, in, in real life, you know, when, when, we, when we have a problem or when we, uh, there's something uh, that's worrying us or causing us anxiety, we, we do a lot of things, you know, parang to actually solve the problem, you know. Some people even turn to drugs or drinking or doing a lot of things. So we concern ourselves with a lot of things uh, when when we have crisis or when we have a problem that's causing us uh, anxiety. Second thing is actually um, she she said and she came up to him and said, Lord. Do you not care that my sister has left me to do the serving by myself? So, ang nakikita ko po dito is she started comparing her situation with her sister. 
So, kinumpere na niya. Nakita, teka lang, bakit yung kapatid ko na doon lang at nakaupo at nakikinig? Samantalang ako, very busy. You know? Um, and sometimes, we're, when we're in a crisis, ganun po, ano, and we we try to think, uh, or we, we see yung situation natin is different from the situation of other people, that's when we worry. Or that's when we, it causes us to worry. Ano? Um, and um, of course, when when you compare, ang susunod na dyan, you complain to God. You go to God and complain. Uh, for example, when some, uh, when a loved one dies, we compare uh, and say, Lord, bakit naman kinuho mo uh, itong napakabait kong uh, kamag-anak? Bakit hindi na lang yung yun yun yung magnanakaw or yung mamamatay tao? Uh, so we compare our situations and say and go to the Lord and complain. So nako complain na po tayo sa Panginoon. Uh, what's interesting to me also is sabi nga niya, tell her. Then tell her. And sometimes we even go as far as uh, inutusan na natin si Lord na Lord dapat ganito kasi yung mangyari, you know? Parang, then tell her to help me. Tayo na pa yung nagdidictate sa Panginoon kung ano yung gagawin niya or kung ano dapat na mangyari. So, we complain to the Lord and ayun nga po yung ating ginagawa, ano? But, on the other hand, ano po ba yung ginawa ni Mary? Ano naman yung ginawa ni Mary? Um, actually, hindi na lang siya nag hindi na lang siya nag-worry. Diba? Kung makikita natin uh, noon sa verse 39, and she had a sister called Mary who was also seated at the Lord's feet and was listening to His word. So, makikita natin dito na si Mary, hmm, wala siyang, hindi siya nag-worry. No? Wala siyang anxiety. Actually, she was just there sitting at Jesus' feet listening to His word. So, makikita natin na Siguro inisip niya, meron naman kaming mga helpers, kaya naman na nila. Or usually kasi in Jewish homes before, di ba, they have servants. So, they have servants. They probably already know what they're doing. Ano, kaya naman na siguro nila uh, yung ginagawa nila. Uh, uh, na tapusin yung preparations. Ganun. So, instead of worrying about it, nandun siya, nakikinig na lang po siya sa word. Or sa words ni Jesus. Ganun. And so, what do we learn from this? No, If we are actually facing a problem uh, or a uh, crisis, we are not supposed to worry. <laughs> so, and instead, we seek comfort also, or or Mary sought comfort in Jesus' presence. Inano na lang niya po na nandun siya sa presence ng Panginoon Jesus. Ano? She, she went to Jesus and uh, mas parang ginusto pa niya na makasama na lang si Jesus instead of worrying uh, about uh, the things um, that uh, the preparations. So, Pumunta na lang po siya in uh, the presence of Jesus. And number two, she found counsel in Jesus' words. I know, uh, in, instead of worrying, Uh, aside from being with Jesus, ano, nakikinig na lang, uh, nakikinig din siya sa words ni Jesus Christ. So, in 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 real life, no, when when we actually have a problem, no, uh, we seek God's counsel uh, in, in His words, no, yung words na lang po ng Panginoon sa atin. And uh, she laid Instead of complaining, siguro, she laid her complaints at Jesus' feet. Siguro, she also had some problems. And she also was, uh, there were some things that she was worried about. But she laid them all at Jesus' feet. So, nandun na lang siya sa paanan ni Jesus. At iniwan na lang niya doon lahat ng kanyang complaints. No? May nabasa nga ako, sabi niya, Anxiety does not solve problems. Jesus does. Uh, anxiety doesn't solve the problem. Jesus does. So, when instead of being anxious or worrying about your problem, lay it down at Jesus' feet. And He will 
direct you kung ano na po yung gagawin mo dun sa problema. So, what can we learn? What can we learn from from Mary? No, what can we learn from Mary? Pag tayo po ba uh, nagkaroon ng mga family crisis, ano po ba yung mga family crisis na possible na mag sa atin ng worry or anxiety? Actually, um, one of the common uh, ano, na nagkakos sa atin ng worries maybe uh, death in the family. No? Uh, one of the things that can cause um, anxiety or sickness in the family. Pag po may nagkasakit, we always worry then. Um, for death and sickness, um, sometimes we worry if somebody dies, um, especially po yung mga uh, breadwinners ng family. Um, of course, it, if, if they die, no, we, we become anxious kung paano na mag, magpapatuloy sa so family mo, especially if sabi ko nga, they're the breadwinners, um, death would also mean, uh, syempre, loss pa rin yan, no? Um, so, how do you cope with the, the loss? Uh, ganun din yung sickness, eh. Sickness means, um, of course, you worry paano yung mga hospital bills, you worry about, you know, um, uh, yung magiging uh, impact nung sickness na yun dun sa person because sometimes when people get sick uh, they become bedridden ganun. so you worry about these things and uh, there's also unwanted pregnancy especially on young young students no? um, loss of income Ganoare, itong pandemic na has cost us uh, mm-hmm. some businesses to close no? so at that because of that we lose jobs, ano? We, some people lost their jobs because some businesses closed. Um, so these are things that can become family crisis. Uh, and the uh, calamities, actually, when uh, calamities happen, there may be loss of property, right? Uh, pending masira yung bahay nyo, yung for for the past how many days? Naguulan na naman po dito sa Baguio. There were some landslides no and floods that's happening here so these calamities can actually um cause also the loss of lives or loss of properties pag nasira yung bahay nyo paano na sa nakatitira and uh, may nakikita ko mga video yung mga floods there baka masira yung mga sasakyan ganun ba and a family crisis can also be broken relationships ano parang yung nagkakaroon ng away sa families um, or when when your marriage becomes um, uh, parang magkakaroon ng pagkihiwalay sa mag-asawa this can also become family crisis and this can cause us worry or anxiety ano so uh, what is what uh, what does the Bible say how do we deal with this crisis? Ano? Actually, Paul has already, in Philippians, ang sinabi niya na to sa mga Philippians. If you look at Philippians 4, 6-9, uh, he already uh, showed us how to deal with anxiety. Or sinabi na niya kung paano mag-deal with anxiety. And, uh, in fact, uh, some of the preachers right now because of the <clears throat> pandemic na uh, ito po yung dinidiscuss talaga uh, to, to assure, to to encourage other people uh, to encourage people because of the crisis that we're going through na ito pa yung Bible verse that they're using to encourage and I think this is also how we should deal with anxiety during any family crisis you know? and it's found in Philippians 4, 6-9. Sabi nga, Do not be anxious about anything. So, clear po. Do not be anxious about anything. But, sabi nga, kasi ina-acknowledge naman po talaga nila na we as human beings, we really worry. So, may but. 
but in everything by prayer and pleading pleading with thanksgiving let your requests be known to god and the peace of god which surpasses all comprehension will guard your hearts and minds in jesus christ so ano po yung makikita natin doon sa verse na yon at dun sa ginawa ni mary or or how how mary dealt with the with the situation we just keep calm and focus on the important things keep calm and focus on the important things in fact um mm, ito talaga yung first na dapat gawin natin no and when we encounter a family crisis or a problem in the family we should just keep calm like a breath in breathe out and then so that you will be able to focus on the important things alala ko when uh, when we lost our uncle i think september yung 2019 no uh, at the time we were uh, meeting with the church leaders kasi po anniversary din ng, ng church and we were planning it at si si doc nga yung parang ano in charge of the uh, of the anniversary and then uh, after the meeting po no nakisakay kami kay pastor and sabi nga namin uh, at that time kasi may may uncle was in the hospital so sabi namin bili lang kami ng pagkain tapos nadali namin dun sa pinsan namin just so we could encourage him kasi yun nga we were going through uh, tough times at the time nasa, nasa ICU na po kasi yung tito at the time and then uh, nung papunta pa lang po kami sa town my sister received a text message from my cousin na sabi nga is uh, code red na code red na daw yung uh, papa niya and then my sister told me that code red means they could not revive him in the ICU um, so instead of buying food to meretsyo na po kami sa hospital at that time you know I, I was thinking of a lot of things <laughs> um, kasi at that time my cousin was um, uh, reviewing for uh, for bar exam ano, yung cousin ko yung anak po nung namatay and then I was thinking of uh, yung mga kamag-anak namin uh, uh, yung mga kapatid uh, yun nga ng kapatid ng tito ko na nasa malayong lugar wala po kami kasama na kapatid niya sa bagay at that time so I was thinking of a lot of things no? um, paano yung paano yung tit- mga tito ko sa probinsya paano yung tita ko sa probinsya paano yung ano uh, and also I was thinking pa- paano na yung anniversary na church <laughs> diba? so we, we have a crisis at hand so at tandam kong iniisip and then I realized, oh, nga, we just have to keep calm. Kasi if, if I was thinking of a lot of things at the time, hindi ako makafocus dun sa mga dapat na gawin. Kasi we, gaya na sabi ko, kami na lang yung family na nandito. So I have, we have to make the funeral arrangements. Uh, we had to um, inform people. No, we have to inform people of what happened. So... We really just have to keep calm. And daming, uh, in, in a situation, you know, you, you come breathe in, breathe out, and then so that you can focus on the things that you have to do. So, so again, uh, do not be anxious. Do not be worried, you know, with your situation. And then, seek God's uh, comfort in prayer. Seek God's comfort in prayer. So, makita pa natin, uh, si Si Mary, punta po siya kay Jesus. She, she wanted more to be in God's presence. I know, than, than worrying a lot with, about, uh, uh, about the preparation. So, ganun din po yung gawin natin. We should pray to God. Seek God's comfort no? in, in prayer. So, yun po yung una natin gawin. Uh, I remember, uh, there's a time po na uh, a colleague of mine, um, called me, sabi niya, oh, she, may problema ako, sabi niya, ah, yung, yung, yung bunso ko, sabi niya, um, who's only 20 years old, is uh, pregnant. Uh, apparently, uh, tinago sa mga magulang, so six months pregnant na po yung bata, and, and the father, yun po yung kaibigan ko, 
is, is telling me no? so he was crying uh, because of the situation ano so kakagraduate lang yung anak niya tapos buntis and so she was he was asking me ano yung gagawin ko ano yung gagawin ko sabi niya sa akin and I don't know what to say, sabi ko. <laughs> Kasi wala pa naman mo akong anak na nabubuntis. <laughs> so, wala. Uh, uh, he, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell him. Uh, ano yung gagawin niya, no? That time, you know, all I can think is, let's pray. Let's find comfort in, 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 in prayer. So, pag-pray natin. Kasi hindi ko rin po alam kung ano yung sasabihin ko or ano yung gagawin mo. Kasi I've never been faced in that situation and I don't know kung ano yung dapat mong gawin. So we prayed for it. Uh, we were crying while we were praying for it. And, and, and so, pinag-pray ko na lang po ng wisdom sa kanila, ano po yung magiging decisions nila doon do sa situation. The happy ending is uh, the yung apo niya, yung uh, naging inspiration niya ngayon, uh, nagpapasaya sa kanya, nagbibigay sa kanya ng comfort, joy uh, sa kanyang uh, retirement. So, these things, you know, we prayed about it and uh, maganda naman po yung buhay nung, nung mag-asawa despite na maaga silang uh, uh, nag- nagpakasal. Okay? And the next thing that uh, we have to uh, do when we're faced with the family crisis. Actually, not only when we're faced with family crisis, this is what you really should do, is read the Bible and memorize verses so that you will be prevented from worrying. Siguro, napakaganda po na i- i- i-memorize natin itong Philippians 4, 6-9. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, with... Um, in everything, sabi, by prayer and and pleading, sabi, with thanksgiving, we should let your request be known to God, be made known to God. No, so siguro ano natin? It, it, this can this can we, if you memorize it, no, we we will it will be prevented. Uh, hindi na talaga tayo magiging anxious. Instead, we pray. You know, we pray in everything that we encounter. We pray and. The last thing that I've learned from this, uh, from Mary, actually, is to lay your worries at Jesus' feet and surrender to God's will. So, if we just lay our worries at Jesus' feet, no, siya lang naman po yung makakatulong sa atin. And, um, and, uh, ba? Pag-pray na lang po natin, ibigay natin sa Kanya. Because worrying only stresses us out. Pwede kang magkasakit. Uh, pwede kang uh, uh, marami ka nang hindi magagawa because uh, uh, you are just being anxious or worried about things. So, we just give it to the Lord. And then, sabi nga diba ng Philippians is um, and the peace of God, the peace of God which surpasses all comprehension will guard your hearts and minds in Jesus Christ. So, yun lang po. And I pray, no, na, na sana maging uh, maging uh, inspiration or encouragement sa ating lahat ito uh, because um, it is uh, it is acknowledged naman that because of this uh, pandemic of or because of uh, uh, yung mga crisis na pinagdadaanan natin. I'm, I'm sure I've heard na may mga uh, prayer requests because uh, there are uh, people in our families who are sick or we've, we've lost some loved ones. Um, and so, I hope that this uh, message this morning would uh, encourage you or would give you um, peace uh, in your hearts. You know, so yun po sana yung gusto kong i-share this morning and I pray I pray na uh, may natutunan pa tayo ngayong umaga Amen
give you